Now, those of you who were watching yesterday afternoon will have baked a light sponge base like the one you see here. You'll have made a fruit jelly in the rainbow form using fresh fruits like the one we have in here. Whip some cream, put it into a cream bag. Hold and cut some strawberries in half and toast it some nuts. Yes. You're quite handsome, really, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, let me show you a nice, easy way of unmoulding a jelly. First of all, you must immerse the, uh, the mould in lukewarm water. Don't get it too hot, otherwise the whole thing will melt. Yes, I For a few seconds, take it out, wipe it clean. Then, put your sponge base centrally over the jelly mould, upside down like that. The platter on which you're going to serve it, also upside down, feeling that it's fairly central. Then, invert the whole thing like that, <laughs> and there you have a nice, clean, moulded jelly. <laughs> now we're going to decorate the jelly with a fruit which matches the flavour we've used. In this case, it's going to be strawberries. I've cut the strawberries in half, and I'm going to put them all <laughs> using the sponge base as a guide. I can't find my sponge base. <laughs> I'm continue putting them around the edge. In fact, you'll notice I'm using the little preservation <laughs> here. Next, you'll fill the bag with whipped cream. Wait a minute, wait a minute! <laughs> Don't squeeze too hard, just press so it comes out nicely. <laughs> Work your way around the base, sir. I keep telling you I've lost my base. <laughs> oh, the cream's clotted. Oh. <laughs> just see how I'm building up the pattern. Oh, Rosettes, swirls, anything you like in that. Oh, so shut up, you stupid <laughs> man.